Hello there, my purple banditos. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made it here to the Pokemon Center, and if you guys remember, we actually got attacked by a bunch of Pokemon in the wild, and then we saw Ho-Oh flying above us. Pikachu got injured. We joined Team Rocket because for some reason we decided to steal a bike from a pretty girl. Today we're going to see if we can heal up our Pikachu and hopefully keep him from dying. That's pretty much it. I knew I'd find you here! Look what you did to my bike! It was destroyed by lightning when you stole it! You'll pay for this someday, kid! Uh, okay, I, I mean, I, I think I got enough Poké Dollars saved up. I probably could've just paid you back for the bike there, Misty. That's okay. Let's go ahead and heal up Pikachu then. You know, poor little Pikachu took a lot of damage, kind of saved us uh, from that flock of birds. Uh, and with that, we're being, gonna be able to continue our adventure. Also, guys, really quickly, it, le it seems like someone's appearing, but before we go any further, I'm gonna give you guys a big thank you to all of you that liked uh, the first part, I could tell that you guys were enjoying it, and it means a lot to me, so we are going to be playing through this game. Make sure to keep giving these videos likes, it takes one click, and it's much appreciated. Don't be frightened, little boy. Allow us to introduce ourselves. To protect the world from devastation, to unite all people within our nation, to denounce the evils of truth and love, to extend our reach to the stars above, Jesse, James, Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light, surrender an hour, prepare to fight! What, what, where's the... Meowth, that's right! N none of that today? Okay, well, they're here to steal the center's Pokemon. You know, this is the, the Pokemon Center, I guess. That does make a little sense, and here we go, guys! Uh, Rodri versus Team Rocket! Uh, so here we go, we're actually gonna be battling Team Rocket cohorts. I guess that's what they call them here. That's really, really cool. We only have Pikachu, which makes me a little bit nervous. You're gonna stop these thieves yourself? And this is your first battle? Let me help you! Pokemon battles when tri- Alright, Nurse Joy. I think I got it, but uh, you know what? It's- If you wanna teach me how to, uh, battle, maybe- maybe later. Maybe we can, uh, you know, crack a couple stakes open and, uh, you know, see- see where the night goes, Nurse Joy. I mean, if, uh, that's what you're trying to do, maybe we could do that later. You know, maybe we could, uh, go for a nice little walk. You know, I'm from Pallet Town. Maybe I can show you where we took down those uh, fearful creatures. And all we have is Thundershock right now, guys. But the pro is that Pikachu looks like he's actually listening to us now. So maybe, you know, he earned a little respect for us, which would be really, really great. I mean, if Pikachu wants to earn a little respect and allow us to uh, do a couple things here and there, I'll take it. We're about to take it down. Also, uh, thanks to you guys who actually gave me a, a couple bit of tips on what's coming up. Uh, I have been watching that anime. I think I'm gonna rewatch it actually while I'm playing through this uh, Because I think that could be a lot of fun. So there we go. Ekans is down uh, But I just need to remember exactly which Pokemon Ash catches and stuff uh, To make sure that we get all the events possible with that. We've learned a bunch of moves And uh, who's up next? That's gonna be coughing. Okay, here we go coughing I really like the fact that Jesse and James got added in this. I think it's a really cool Pokemon hack so far uh, This is actually the first Pokemon hack I've played uh, I've never really done one before, uh, so I must say I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I hope that, you know, you guys keep enjoying it as much as I am once we get further into it. Uh, coughing's paralyzed. I feel like this battle's rigged. I feel like this is on purpose. I don't know. I, I feel like this is happening on purpose here. Oh, mother fudge, please don't kill us. Please don't kill us. If we fainted here, oh my goodness, that would be terrible. We're doing okay, though. I, I think, yeah, we got it, we got it. Alright, Woo! Pikachu didn't miss anything, and with that, coughing's gonna be down. And it looks like we have gone ahead uh, and defeated the Team Rocket cohorts and gained a lot of levels, which are definitely going to help us. We defeated Team Rocket. How could Team Rocket lose to such a pipsqueak? We got 320 for winning. Uh, and we, we, oh, thank you, Nurse Joy. I mean, uh, you know, I do a lot of great things around here. You know, I'm not only good at Pokemon battling, if that's what you're trying to get at. No matter, now let's steal the center's Pokemon. I, I don't think so. Pikachu appeared from the Pokeball. That means we Pikachu can't stop Team Rocket. Ah! Uh, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be thunder-shocked. Team Rocket is blasting off again! Alright, well, there they go. We defeated them. And I'm going to go ahead and heal up Pikachu before we get a game over here in this game. And uh, we are barely just starting it. But that was actually really, really cool. So I guess we have defeated Team Rocket. Um, and we are off on our adventures again. I kind of want to explore some of these houses, though. Just because I'm not really sure what it all is. Uh, let's see. A flower bed, I guess... Maybe they are just going to be regular houses. All right, you know what? Let's keep on moving. We'll probably have the chance to come and explore this later on. Uh, there's a gym here, though. Okay. Viridian City Pokemon Gym. Can I enter it? Okay, no. The boss is busy to accept any gym battles. Uh, so that makes sense. That, you know, Viridian Gym 
always busy. We're gonna head on out to Route 2 then and head towards Viridian Forest, if I am correct. Uh, so here we go. We are inside of Viridian Forest. And now, actually, I couldn't tell you uh, what I expect here. I, I really don't know. Oh, but look! It's a little Caterpie! Uh, now, I actually am gonna go ahead and catch this Caterpie. I know that we're gonna need one. Uh, in order to proceed further into this adventure. So definitely something I want us to do. Now, I don't know if the female or the male thing matters uh, here in this hack. So I, I think I'm just going to catch this one. It's the first one we bumped into, which I guess you could say kind of goes with the anime. Uh, considering Ash caught his Caterpie really, really early on. Uh, which is really, really cool. With that, guys, I think I have some Pokeballs. Uh, what the fudge? Alright, Pokeball half. Alright, we do have Pokeballs. What the fudge? Oh, I guess Pikachu broke out of the Pokeball. Okay, that makes sense. A Pokeball half. And come on, stay on our team. We got you. All right, with that, we went ahead and caught Caterpie, guys. Uh, really, really cool. So that was actually really, really easy. Caterpie's data was added to the Pokedex. And we have ourselves our first little Pokemon here, which is hopefully going to be helping us out. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and put Caterpie up in... F oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Why not? We're, we're right here. I might as well go heal up. I don't have a potion or anything. So I'll just heal up the Caterpie, and we'll be right on our way. This is actually cool. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. Uh, this is my first week off for summer, and it's been pretty great so far. You know, I'm still kind of knocking out the last little kinks to, to wrap up the semester, but, you know, I'm done with finals and everything. Uh, so thank you guys for your patience. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'm going to try to get about a video a day up. Uh, and if I don't have the chance to do that, I'll try to get two, uh, you know, on one day to catch up for that. I'm just trying to, tr get, trying to get as many as possible up uh, so we can have a lot of fun this summer, you know. I've also thought about maybe doing a couple live streams here and there, uh, which could be a lot of fun too. I'm just hoping to, you know, spend a lot more time with you guys during the summer and just have a chance to talk and, uh, you know, just, just see what happens. I want to have a pretty good summer, uh, a relaxing summer. I'm not trying to stress out too much this summer. I'm trying to just relax a little bit and uh, see what happens. But what in the fudge? Where am I going? Uh, I'm just going to try my best to run through this forest. As I, as I said before, we're not going to have repels or anything of that sort yet. So it is probably just going to be... Uh, a matter of doing this type of thing. I'm just gonna run through this forest. I want to make it uh, as soon as possible through it. Damn, it really is gonna suck not having repels in here. All that there is are Caterpies here though, and I think we caught a pretty good sized one. For those of you guys who have actually played through the game before, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment let me know what's going on or what you think I should do because you know there's a lot of you guys who are gonna have uh, probably a lot more experience with this than me uh, I don't know completely everything about this game I know little bits of it and little sequences but I don't know you know what exactly it's gonna take to get the scenes out so if you're playing along uh, just let me know like what I'm at what I'm asking about is like hey do you need to evolve uh, Caterpie a level first get it to become a Metapod you know, that type of thing. That's kind of what I want to work on. Uh, I'm going to try to stick as close to the anime as possible because, you know, that, that's the fun part. I feel like as kids, the anime was, you know, a big part of my life. I still remember the first time I ever saw it. Uh, I used to be a really big Dragon Ball Z fan. I guess I still am, you know, just Dragon Ball in general. Uh, when I was younger, I would watch Dragon Ball during lunch and then Dragon Ball Z would be on like later at night. And then I remember Dragon Ball GT came out. Um, and it was even crazier in a Pidgeotto. I am actually going to go ahead and catch that too while we are here. Oh, this thing's going to mess me up, man. I should have switched out the Pikachu. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch out. This thing's going to tear me apart. But as I was saying, so I, I really was like into Dragon Ball. And then I remember one time, I it was later at night, right after Dragon Ball Z ended. And they were like, coming up next. This was in El Salvador, by the way. So I was really, really young. Um, I must have been five or six back then. And I remember they're like, up next, uh, Pokemon. And I remember just sitting there watching it, and I'm like, well, I have nothing better to do. And then I just really started watching the show, and I was like, this is really weird. Uh, I, I thought it was the weirdest freaking show. I was like, what is this thing? This guy keeps animals and balls, and he battles with them? I was like, when do these guys start fighting? When does this get brutal, and they start going at it? We went ahead and caught Pidgeotto too, guys. This is pretty much part of the anime as well. Uh, and I thought it was the weirdest thing, but it wasn't until I came to the U.S. Uh, so it was probably soon after that. I don't remember. Uh, you know, I came to the U.S. and I finally started thinking like, you know what? Maybe, maybe Pokemon isn't that bad. I started watching it and I started getting into it. And I was like, you know what? This is actually pretty freaking cool. I, uh, I'm liking this. It's kind of enjoyable. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, and then I finally started watching it and I got really into it. 
And, you know, then eventually I even, like, got Pokemon shoes and, like, a bunch of Pokemon collectibles. Uh, I, I think I might have shown in somewhere my, a big Pikachu collection I have. Um, and I just ended up really getting into the anime and that th sort of thing. Uh, and I guess since then, I just really became a big fan of it. Uh, and ever since, you know, I've, I've loved Pokemon. Uh, and it's been a big part of me. I feel like we all have that sort of story where we first began with it. And I definitely definitely have that um that it was definitely a big step of, me, of mine uh so we're gonna go ahead and use gust uh luckily enough we have pidgeotto here which should be pretty much a miracle worker here in, in the viridian forest i'm kind of glad we bumped into it i want to say it was kind of a i don't know i don't know if it was part of it i don't know if it was intentional for us to bump into the pidgeotto mother fudge i did not want pidgeotto to get poisoned um that's kind of crappy but that's okay. We're going to gain a bunch of levels off of it. Pidgeotto gained poison. Kind of uh, something I really, really didn't want to happen. But that's okay. We gained a bunch of XP. And uh, we have defeated uh, this guy. This bug catcher looking fella. Uh, I'm just going to keep the battles going. Which means we're going in the right direction. I could use a break. How about you? Oh, what a sweetheart. Okay. So she healed us up. Look, once in a while. If you ever go into a forest, guys. What? <laughs> so we meet again. We're here to get your Pokemon. Hand over that Pikachu. That Pikachu is exceedingly rare. Its power surpasses its evolutionary level. Hand it over and prepare to fight. All right, guys. So we're going to be taking on Team Rocket again. Uh, and I think we're a little bit more prepared this time. Oh, it's a doubles battle. What the fudge? Okay. Uh, a doubles battle. Uh, this just keeps getting a little bit weird and, and weirder. Not, not going to lie to you guys. Uh, but that's okay, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I think I'm gonna take- I'm gonna take out the coughing first. I don't want us to end up, like, poisoned and messed up. Alright, so let's just go ahead and hopefully hit a crit here. I- I don't know if there are gonna be crits in the- OH MY GOODNESS! I AM PSYCHIC! I- look at this, look at this connection right here. I am literally psychic. I read that like- like a charm. Holy crap, Caterpie is getting torn apart, though. I don't like this one bit. Uh, I think we'll be able to survive one more. So let's go ahead and hopefully take the coughing. I want to get some XP on Caterpie. I really want Caterpie to gain a couple levels. Wow, that's going to suck. That's going to suck a lot. Poison gas on Pikachu. Okay, well, maybe, maybe just maybe Caterpie will knock it out here. I think it's looking a little bit doubtful. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We actually got it. All right, good job, Caterpie. We gained a bunch of XP. Caterpie's growing levels. I will take it. We're actually doing really, really good here. Uh, Pikachu's hurt, though. Uh, I think I might... No, you know what? I'll keep Caterpie out. Uh, because it would be really great if Caterpie could grow a couple levels. I don't remember exactly what level Caterpie grows in a Metapod. I know, it's been a while, guys. Uh, we went ahead and paralyzed it, though. So at least we have a couple things in our favor. We got a couple things going. I'm not I'm not too worried about it. We're hurt by the poison. That's fine, that's fine. We'll, we, I think we'll, take, we'll be able to take it down here one more time. I think we're also getting close to getting out of viridian forest i'm actually not sure because if you guys remember they have changed the game a lot uh so they've made like little events here like these team rocket events which are super cool uh and they've been changing things up quite a bit uh so hopefully you know we can figure out where we're going and if we don't well i, I really don't know what to tell you i'm just hoping that we will be able to make it out alive and uh without without too much trouble here but with that guys come on caterpie big hits Oh, mother fudger. It's paralyzed. We got it. All right, we got Ekans and coughing. I kind of feel bad for them. You know, the fact that Team Rocket doesn't win very often. I feel like once in a while, they deserve a win, man. You know, if they want to steal a couple Pokemon, let them do it. Let them do their thing. Uh, once in a while, they have to do that. All right, we defeated the Team Rocket cohorts, guys. We gained a bunch of XP. Sadly, Caterpie did not gain anything there. It's time Team Rocket blasted off. You may have won this round, but we'll be back. All right, guys, so they are gone. I wonder if this girl will heal me again. Oh, you sweet, sweet woman. All right, guys, with that, we defeated Team Rocket, and I actually am not sure of what's coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and end things off here. Uh, so if you guys have any tips on what's coming up or just want to let me know how to trigger the next couple sequences of event, leave me a comment. Make sure to like this video. Shoot me a tweet. I read tweets like that. I mean, I always have my phone on me. I'm sure you guys do too. So if you just want to, you know, tell me something that's going on or how you're enjoying this game, let me know. I hope you guys are enjoying Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.